Good morning. Happy Thursday. Heading to Tel Aviv today, back-to-back meetings with entrepreneurs and investors. It's going to be a great day. Hopefully, be able to get at least one or two of them on camera. And then the weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. In other news, Inc. Magazine reached out to me approximately a month and a week ago asking me if I'd be willing to contribute to the site. They said the requirement is four articles a month. That made me nervous. I wasn't sure I'd be able to deliver that amount of content given everything else that I'm doing. Just wrote my ninth article. Pretty excited about that. All right, let's do this. You know, I have to say, whenever I tell people I want to interview them, they're very intimidated by this camera. And you are no different, and I understand that, but it's a very scary camera. But wait, let me see if I can show you what this camera looks like. See that? That's the camera. It's like very intimidating. Okay. Anyway, so very random, very spontaneous meeting. That's the truth because Mm -hmm. Gaula here, and that's her name. We're going to talk about that in a second. Real name. So, yes, we'll talk about that in a second because it is an interesting name. Gaula means redemption. Like, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, um, I want to say hardcore name. It's a pretty hardcore name. So you reached out, what, like two days ago? Yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. Wow, yeah. it was really spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. Because we have a lot of friends in common, and yeah. you're like, yeah, people said we should meet. The yeah. truth is, like 12 minutes before you reached out, someone canceled today's meeting. So I was like, yeah, I'll free slot tomorrow. So we did it, and it was great, great meeting. Now, here's the thing. First of all, Geula is a, just generally a very unique name, but it's also a very religious name. So like, first is like, when, someone, when you tell someone your name, they're like, is that really your name? But then they're like, okay, but you must be like super duper religious. Now, you did grow up religious, but you're not religious anymore. So it's, it's unique on many levels. Just mm-hmm. wanted to point that out. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, and more importantly, you're unique because you come with a lot of experience in marketing and PR. You come from Canada. Yeah. So it's like, people talk about the culture shock between New York and Israel, but in reality, in New York and in Israel, everyone's obnoxious. In Canada, everyone's nice. So it's like 180 degrees, like culturally speaking. Yeah. Uh, so it must have been a culture shock. But yes. Yeah. You come with PR background, marketing background, business background, gymnastics background. Yeah, gymnastics. Acrobatics yeah. or gymnastics? Uh-huh. Is the same uh, thing? Gymnastics, yeah. Gymnastics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bike ride, like bike, Insane bike, bike bike cyclist. Yeah. I mean, long, long. Maybe you should tell me what right? you haven't done. <laughs> no, okay, like so haven't. anyway, yeah. bottom line is um, you now are doing translations and some oh, PR. And languages, yeah. right, languages, oh, how many languages? Five. Five. So you got yeah. English, Hebrew, French, French, Spanish, Russian, Russian, Spanish. Bunkers. Yeah. And now you're doing a lot of translation, but the bottom line is mm-hmm. your core, your DNA is PR, marketing, business, you're a people's person. And the bottom line is you're now on, you're now interested in breaking into the ecosystem. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, so we're sitting here at the work and I literally just like went into like power inbox, which is over there. Shefa, you met her last week, I think, and I was like, go out and meet this person. So I told mm-hmm. him Shefa's like a powerhouse. And bottom line is as I said to you, you know, you're gonna be breaking into the network organically, and what, what I mean by that is just networking. Like networking in Israel, that's how things get done. Business in Israel gets done over coffee. But hit me with your elevator pitch. If someone's watching, they're a startup or a tech company, and they want to know, all right, what could you do for us? Hit me. I can do content writing. I can write newsletters. I can write blogs. I can write pitches. I can write press releases. I could... Pitch the press. Pitch the press, of course. The translations, but most companies don't need translations. But I mean, yeah, if translation is necessary, I can do that. You're a full-stack marketer. Essentially, right? yeah. That's like a really... You should call yourself that. Your business card. You know, because we talk about full-stack developers, but uh-huh. in Israel, in general, marketers, you know, there's quantitative marketers, right? There's like, mm-hmm. you know, user acquisition and there's qualitative marketers like me, branding, social, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And there's PR people. There's like, you're full stack. You got it all. All right. So if you're a tech company, startup, whatever it is, and you want to be cool, what is the best way to contact you? Email, LinkedIn, Are you, are you comfortable giving it? People, I'm not, don't, you're not going to get like creeps writing you, but are you cool giving your email? Yeah, I okay, think so. Okay, so what's your email? Yeah. Oh my God, the spelling of my name is impossible. G-U-E, right? Yeah, good morning. G-U-E. Yeah. U-L-A. So G-U-E-U-L-A. Dot. Dot. R-A-D. R-A-D. K-I-N. K-I-N. At gmail.com. All right, Joseph, put her email here. <laughs> if you guys are a tech company yeah. and you're interested, reach out because you know, we've been sitting for an hour, but as I always say, this is something that I stole from Kevin Rose. Kevin Rose um, was the founder of dig.com, which kind of lost to Reddit. And when, they, when he lost, they said to him, what was your biggest mistake? He said something, in my opinion, like super profound and, and 100% accurate. He said, the biggest mistake was hiring people for skills and not for talent. Mm-hmm. Right? I hired engineers that, that could write a certain code. When that code became obsolete, I had nothing to do with them because they weren't talented. Yeah. So I always tell CEOs, you should hire people that are talented. Not to say you don't have skills, you do, but mm-hmm. the bottom line is you're a talented person, you bring a lot, passion, you're hungry, you want to succeed. Tech companies, 
hit her up. That's all. Yes. Love it. Bye. Finishing up another meeting just now, now heading to lunch. Who are you? I'm Debbie. I Debbie. live here in beautiful Israel. And let me and ask you this. Yeah. Where did we originally, how did you originally find me? Actually, it was an article my mom sent to me. Thank I'm, you, mom. I didn't know that. From Jerusalem Post. Oh, so you just, I didn't, I didn't realize it was the Jerusalem Post. Absolutely. So you reached out and I said to you, the first thing I said to you when we met just now is, what's up? Say hi. Everything okay. <laughs> Everything good. First thing I said to you when we met is that the, the email was random, but it was written so well that like I instantly replied on it, like, let's set up a meeting. I don't remember what you wrote, yes, but it was, very, it, was right. a, it was a very good, very good email. Ten seconds very good. later that he wrote back. It's true. Thank it's you. True. true story. <laughs> anyway, that was, a, that was a super cool meeting. I'm going to go grab lunch. And uh, yeah, let's, let's follow up. The bottom line is just give me give me your 20 second background. Lived in four different continents. No, three continents, four countries. Wow. I'm dedicated and loyal to everything that I do. And uh, I'm here in Israel hoping to make a difference. Love it. And uh, I love it here. It's a wonderful country, amazing people, great food. Hey, the state of Israel should pay you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't expect it. Love it. All right, well, it was awesome to meet you. I'm turning this thing off, heading to Vitos. Bye-bye. Bye. observation slash rent the barrier to BS in the tech space is way too low we glorify being a CEO we glorify startups and there are too many BS artists out there too many people out there who have no substance and all fluff and it annoys the heck out of me I actually wrote about this a while back I think it was on entrepreneur about the phenomenon of BS artists in the tech space but the problem is it's too easy it's too easy to build an entire brand out of nothing. And I'm seeing more and more of that, and it annoys me, and it gives us all a bad name. Rant over. Made it home was a great day and a great week. See you next week.